Well, hi, Jensen. Uh, welcome to the FI Proof track at Hethel. Um, I know our founder, Colin Chapman, would be so pleased that we got the Formula One champion here to try out a mirror today. Thank you. Well, it's a real pleasure for me to be here, you know, where you engineer the cars, you build the cars, and you test the cars on your track here. Um, you know, I'm in my element. I get to drive the Amira, uh, first person to drive the car, and on such a fantastic track. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're really pleased with it. It's everything that we wanted to get into the car with the lightweight, the dynamics uh, and the aerodynamics as well is really important for us. So getting you to put it through its paces will uh, will let us know whether we got what got to where we thought we were going to get to. Well, Lotus is really, really well known for the mechanical grip that you get from the chassis. But looking at how this car is sculpted, it looks like everything has purpose. Um, so you guys must have worked really hard on the aerodynamics also with the Amira. Yeah, uh, uh, it's, it's one of our mantras as well is to try and keep things simple. So if we can get the aerodynamics so we've got positive downforce, so it improves the handling and the grip, as you say, you don't need to add the mechanical aids. So then you get the light weight, and so you get the performance, but you're keeping the weight down on the car as well. Yeah. So I'm, I'm so excited to take it out on the track. But first of all, a little bit of, to talk about the uh, interior of the car. You know, I, I first jumped into a Lotus Elise back in 1997 um, when I just started driving. And it was pretty bare. It was pretty sparse in there. There was a seat, three pedals of steering wheel and a gear stick. Um, but now it's it's proper plush in the Amira. You know, these the leather seats with the, the, the bolstered leather seats, um, the infotainment system and obviously most importantly the cup holders <laughs> I, I thought you'd like the cup holders <laughs> yeah so uh, apparently sports car drivers do drink coffee as well which is uh, we've we've looked after but i think like you say what we wanted to do was get an environment so you, you've still got the the feel of driving a lotus it's for the drivers everything's simple everything's where you need it um but you've got the luxury people you know you want your phone to connect when you get in the car you want it to be simple control so that's what we've achieved with this yeah and uh for me you know it's it's a light car super light at 1400 kilograms so you're not going to wear through these tires quickly you're not going to overheat the brakes so you just want to drive forever until you have to fill up with with petrol <laughs> um so you you want a comfortable car to do that in absolutely and i think i think this uh, what you get with this is it's something that you could drive spirit you know with spirit or it's something that you could drive a long distance as well and that's what we wanted to do so it it kind of works for everybody that wants to get into the car it's uh it's absolutely stunning and i don't really want to call it a junior supercar because it could take on some of the big powerhouses out there on track but uh it's it really is stunning fantastic job and you guys should be very proud of what you've what you've achieved here yeah i, I think uh, you know i speak for there's hundreds of people have worked on this car over the years that we've been developing it and you know it's it's, it's testament to their commitment that we've actually got here so i think what i really want to do is know what you think of it when you drive it as well so uh, i'm looking forward to that feedback yeah enough of the talking maybe i should jump in now what do you think yeah i think you probably should <laughs> you probably should Excellent. Well, I love these little touches as well. This is obviously the first edition, um, which, uh, which I'm hoping if everything goes to plan and I like it as much as I like the look of it, if I like the driving experience, hopefully I'll be on the wait list. Excellent. I'll hold you to that. So we got a deal and we'll talk about that later on. <laughs> Thanks. Thank right. you. Right. Time to get in. Over to you and you Fantastic. need to let us know what you think. Yeah. As much as I like looking at the outside of a car, this is, this is my area. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. experience this brand new car. Uh, I'm very lucky, very privileged to be the first one in it. Oh, oh. This engine just roars. It sounds wonderful. driver feeling for me is, is so important. It's the ticket. It's what works. The cabin is just proper luxurious. The leathers in here, uh, the infotainment system, this massive screen. It's nice that it's simple and it gives you more time to do this. Lotus engineers and aerodynamicists have worked really hard on the Amira uh, and, and been able to produce quite a lot of downforce for such a small car. So it gives it a lot of grip in these, in these high-speed, mid-speed corners. It gives you confidence to push the car a little bit harder. 
It just holds the road so well. It just puts a big smile on your face. A lot of people talk about power to weight, and the reason why they have to add so much horsepower is because the car is so heavy. With the Lotus, it's super light. You don't need 800 horsepower, and you wouldn't want it either. It would be undrivable. It's light, it's nimble, and it's comfortable. A completely different beast. I applaud everyone at Lotus. You know, they should be very proud of, uh, of what they have achieved with the Amira. It's, uh, it's a fantastic piece of kit. What can I say? Wow. You know, I, every time I drive a Lotus, I love that, that mechanical grip that it gives you. But now you even have that in the high-speed corners. They've worked really hard with the aerodynamics on, uh, on the Amira. And you're doing it in such a luxurious place as well. This interior is so plush. Um, you know, a lot of the time in a sports car, uh, they're fantastic to drive. You enjoy driving them, but you don't want to do long distances in them. But in here, I'm so comfy. My takeaways from today, a big step forward for Lotus. This car is a very, very important car, and this is really gonna shape the company for the future. I'm not done driving it yet. You've seen him on the track. He's driven the car, now let's meet him in person. Ladies and gentlemen, Jensen Button. Jensen, welcome. So, how is it to drive the Amira? Well, first of all, it's fantastic to be here. A real privilege, a pleasure to see so many uh, smiling faces. And uh, what better way to, to launch uh, an iconic car in true British weather? Uh, now we have sun. Now I've come out on stage, which I'm very happy about. But um, I, I was uh, very lucky to take this uh, beauty, that beauty out on uh, track earlier. Um, and it was really enjoyable. Uh, you know, you expect to have the mechanical grip, as you heard in the uh, three minute video. Um, you expect to have that mechanical grip from a Lotus, but um, to have the aero uh, and, you know, everything on this car has a purpose. You know, all these lines, intakes, uh, the curvatures, they have a purpose. And that's what I love most about it. Uh, and then you step inside, uh, and as I said, plush. That's the word of the day. Um, it's, it's such a nice place to be, it's comfortable. You have the infotainment system which is easy to work so you can get back to uh, hammering through the gears and uh, they've moved the gear stick in this car quite high uh, and uh, it feels really racy so uh, from the steering wheel to the gear stick it's it's such a short movement which is great uh, it feels much more racy and uh, I obviously like that well, I think you've sold it to us, to be honest. Um, you've loved Lotus cars since you were young. In fact, since you were too young to actually drive one. Uh, well, no, I was, I was legally allowed to drive one, but I was, I was 17. Uh, I, I actually started off in something that was not a, a Lotus and very far from a Lotus when I was 17. Uh, but I drove past the uh, Bristol dealership, uh, the Bristol showroom, and there was a Lotus Elise out on the grass. So I went in and I said, uh, can I drive that? And they said, no. One, one word, that's all that they gave me, no. I was like, well, can I sit in it? They said, okay, you can sit in it. So I sat in the car, um, and I remember it just being very sparse, first of all. You basically had a seat, three pedals, a steering wheel, and a gear stick. Um, but I just loved that feeling of a Lotus when you got in it, you felt part of it. And uh, that was what I loved the most. Um, obviously, the interior of these is very different. It's moved on a long way, but um, I had the bug then. Uh, and I got to drive in my friend's Esprit, uh, which was uh, very exciting, uh, very powerful. Um, and, uh, and also in 2000, I got to come here while I was working with another manufacturer doing laps around here, um, passenger rides. And at the end of the day, I said, can I drive the Lotus 340R? And said, yeah, of course you can. And jumped in it, and it was worlds beyond what I was driving around here. So yes, very passionate about Lotus, and uh, great to be part of the team. And having the chance to drive these uh, really means a lot. And you're bringing back a classic Lotus, aren't you? Yes, 
um, bringing back the Type 62, where they, they built two for racing. Uh, and uh, Radford, um, with my mates at Radford, we're bringing back, uh, it doesn't sound very professional, does it, with my mates at Radford, but they are my mates. Um, we're bringing back uh, the Type 62. Too, um, which I'm really, really looking forward to. It's something very exciting uh, for the future. And uh, we're very lucky that we've been able to work with Lotus on the platform uh, and uh, with the engineers and, and the development of it. So exciting for the future, but right now we're here for these guys. And I must say in this color, stunning, isn't it? It is absolutely amazing. What would you choose? I, I I'm not can't offering decide. It, well, I no, I'm gonna it. buy one. I think I'd probably go for the blue. Yeah. yeah. And are you going to level up to your end of the bargain with Matt from earlier? Well, if I get on the top of the list, yes. I mean, yes, I can't say no to it. It's stunning. And I, this problem is for me is color. Um, I like this. I personally would really go for the yellow. The yellow with that fleck in it, you know, I think it would show off the, the curves a little bit. But um, no, it's, uh, it's a spectacular car and I can't believe we're calling it a junior supercar. Um, because it would take on so many powerhouses out on track. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited and everyone sh that's worked on this car should be very, very proud. Well, you heard it here first. Jensen's gonna buy one. I feel like I should get the commission from that sale. Ladies and gentlemen, Jensen Button. Thank you guys, hope you enjoyed the evening.